Would you give it up for my friend, George Wallace? <laughs> I'm gonna sit down right here. Good oh, morning. Man. I am so happy to be here. Look at you looking so good. Oh, George, I just, I, man, I tell you, I love seeing you. It is always great when you come to New York. Are you having a good time visiting? You can't help but to have a good time when you come to New York City. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. I, I think the I'm gonna take my glasses off because I'm telling you, you look better with these glasses off. You look oh. at you. <laughs> These glasses are blocking me. Yeah, when you come to New York, there's so much in this city. It's just uh, from Broadway to uh, just even last night in front of my house at uh, Central Park, they had fireworks. They I don't know, but fireworks last night in my window. It, this it, is it, nice, it, yeah. That, that's right out of my window. Isn't that amazing? Oh my gosh, you look beautiful. People in the audience going, woo, like it's actually happening right now. <laughs> well, woo. Do you know, all it is is a rehearsal for uh, uh, Fourth of July. Oh yeah? All you do at Fourth of July, you go, ooh. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Is this a big one? This is a big one? This is a big one? This is a big one? Ooh, ah. boom, 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 boom. That's it, that's all you do, George. But New York is so good, just the, the, the food, the energy, the, it just is. being here, it's just, it's I just, know. Like, like you know? But. You don't really get to stay, because it's summertime, you don't get to stay and experience it because you always have to travel. Like, you had to leave on short notice the other day. The other day, I was sitting at my desk, and uh, yeah. my best friend called me and says, I'm going to Las Vegas in about three hours. You want to go? I said, yeah. <laughs> Just like that, right? Uh -huh. So, uh, three hours later, the, the doorman says, uh, your ride is here. I'm going, oh, hell, he really came? Uh <laughs> And I just grabbed my backpack and just ran out of the door. I left the air conditioner on, I left the lights on, I left everything on, and I went to Las Vegas for three days. I went home, so what the hell, you know? Oh, wait, can I ask you who your best friend was that said, come, you just dropped everything? Some little Jewish guy, I don't know him, you know. Uh, <laughs> some, hey, listen, he, he's so stupid, you know? <laughs> you got, well, you're not even gonna say his name, George. You don't need to know his name. I, I know his name. He's please. the richest man in comedy, my best friend for 47 years. Who's that, Jerry Seinfeld? That's Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld. So. And you dropped everything. Well, listen, this is my friend, and a lot of people don't know, I'm the real roommate. I'm the real roommate for 13 years of, of that Jerry That you've Seinfeld, been with Jerry. And I've been with Jerry. We've been good friends, and, uh, and he has, we're on the plane, and he says to me, you know you need to get your own plane. Uh, that's what he said? I said, what the hell we need two planes for? Uh. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with this jet here, I'm right on with it. So guess what, he called me this morning, and I'll be in Vegas, we're going to Los Angeles tonight, I'm gonna do the same thing. And, uh, He's flying you out on his private plane again. He ain't yep. flying me, I'm just getting on the plane. He ain't flying, he don't tell me. <laughs> so he's going, so, but last week when we had such a great, I'm so blessed, Sherry, to just, uh, we got on the plane and we went to um, Las Vegas and I was out there and I just got back last night. And yes. I was there for the uh, Stanley Cup playoff and, and, uh, and they yeah. let me uh, handle the cup and, because I'm an ambassador for Las yes, Vegas. Yes, you're the ambassador. Right. Look at that. Look at that. You see what that is? And I what see, is this? I, oh, my God, she's black. She's going, what is this? What is this? It's the... See, black people don't know. All my black friend, uh, friends don't know what that is. There, is that an air fryer? That's yeah, what they were what is, That's what I'm like, what is it? Is it a juicer? What is it? There's something wrong with you. Is it a juicer? <laughs> something wrong. That's the Stanley Cup. You know what that, that is? Oh, the Stanley Cup. Yes, I know what the Stanley Cup is. No, you don't, because you just said, what the hell is it? <laughs> <laughs> people, black people are asking all kinds of questions. What, is it? what kind of award did you receive? <laughs> Black people don't know what that is. Because so, well, we you. don't play hockey. We don't play hockey. So no, we we, I'm not, it's not too many of us that played hockey, and, George. And, and we wait till the water get, uh, 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 what you call it, get warm before we get out. We, we're starting to swim now. Yeah, we're starting to swim. Yeah. So, I just started listen, swimming. You just started swimming. Black people starting, you know, we did good in golf. We did tennis. And when, when we get this hockey thing down, white people going to be pissed at us. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get it down. But I, I love traveling, and I think it's the greatest thing in the world to do. I'm glad you brought that up. But you travel a lot, I, I, you know, I don't travel too much. Like, so next time you go like out of the country, I'll go. Which I like to like go somewhere out of the country to travel. You should do that. Your your producer John and I we we're supposed to go to Panama, and he uh, chicken out with his little punk ass. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I would I would love to go to Panama. That'd be fun. Cause Ain't I know nothing the... down there. You don't need to go. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh. 
Oh, 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 oh. I went to see the Panama Canal, but I love travel, and I teach young people, make sure you enjoy your life. Yes. As soon as you get out of high school, as soon as you get out of college, get on an airplane, go to other countries, see other people live, and... And travel. Charge it to your parents. It's so important. <laughs> it's a, because life is backwards here. Let me tell you and let me tell everybody in this audience, life is backwards. Don't you hear old people always say, when I turn 65, yeah. I'm gonna retire and travel all over the world. Yeah. But what? You too damn old. What you gonna do? <laughs> You too damn old. Uh, listen, listen, I said, <laughs> listen, listen, hold on, hold on. I see old people in Paris at the Eiffel Tower going, <laughs> <laughs> get, get up and travel. It is so good and I've been everywhere. I'm so blessed I can't even, I, I just keep saying I'm so blessed. It's just good. You are blessed and I know because I've watched you and I, I just take from you because you are so uh, such a comedy icon. Can I ask you, you, you can clap. <laughs> but George, I wanted to ask you a couple of things that, that I've that been in Hot Topics for me. Like, Robert De Niro yeah. and Al Pacino, uh, they're having babies, 79 and 83 years old, and they're having babies. What do you think about that? I think they're crazy. Really? Yeah, how the hell are you gonna have, what you gonna talk to the baby? Y'all gonna talk to the same language? What you gonna do, eat the, <laughs> you gonna eat the same food? You, you gonna eat the same food? You gonna wear the same, same diapers and share the diapers? <laughs> what the hell, you're too old. That's, there should be a law, no man over 59 should have a baby. You, you, you. It's just too much. And it might not be theirs, they don't know hell. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that, I shouldn't have said that, yeah. <laughs> That's all right, we got an edit but, button. But, 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 uh, you got an edit button, yeah, but uh, Did... I, I'm happy for him to be honest, to be honest, because I wish I could do that, you know. You wish you could have a baby right now? Well, I ain't having no baby, because technically, <laughs> te I don't even know how to, let me, let me tell you something. Let me, I don't know how to. <laughs> You talking about sex, and, and, and technically, uh, technically uh -huh. I think I'm a bisexual. Oh, you think you're bisexual? Because the last time I had sex, I was by myself, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, look at all these other people out here. They know what I'm talking about. They know what I'm talking about. Well, if that's the definition, but I'm a bisexual too, See? shoot. <laughs> <laughs> and so are they, oh man, and so are they. But I love to travel, and I travel. Look, this is what I gotta say. There is nothing you can't talk about. You are so daggone funny. George, when you were, uh, did you ever get in trouble, like, if you opened for somebody and you were too good? Like, did you ever, you ever get fired from a job for being too funny or funnier than the person you opened for? I can't believe you asked me, and I, it did happen to me, and I was so hurt. I got fired because I was so, I was just starting out, okay? And I was yeah. looking for a lady and she was like a, a big, big lady, 1979, Caesar's Palace. Oh, wow. And uh, I went out on stage and I uh, did my little act. And, uh, uh, and after the show, uh, I got fired. What happened was, what had happened was, <laughs> I did the show and I was with Diana Ross, okay? Oh, really? I was with the legendary Diana Ross, and, I, and she has a gay, a half gay audience and half black and half mixed. And when you got a half gay audience and black, they gonna show you some love if you do a good job. Yes. So I was getting a standing ovation every night. And that took a minute out of her time because she's sitting there in a, in a dress weighing 80 pounds. <laughs> don't nobody want to wait on a little opening act and taking up a, another uh, two minutes of there. Oh. So she fired me. But she called me back the next week and hired me back. Oh, she did? Yeah, she did. Oh, the boss hired you back. She's such a great lady. We just, because even me and you, if we got somebody opening for us and they're going over like five or 10 minutes, you go, come on, I don't care how good they're doing. Come on, get yeah, off. Yeah, they gotta get off that stage. Gotta get off that stage, you know? And, and, and working with you, you hard act to follow too, so. so. Oh my gosh, you know, I, I'm not, no, no, no. I gotta follow you. No, listen, listen. This was, and, and I gotta tell you, cause you started cussing on, on the stage. Like you've always been clean, George. I've been clean for 47, a Christian comedian. I, so what happened that you were cussing I just, It's just time to cuss, now I ain't. <laughs> And listen, listen, and I, black people, black people stop saying cursing, it's cussing, I mean cussing. And sometimes when I can't cuss, there's a, there's a rapper named Waka Flocka Flame. And I say, I know these new rappers out here with this. They got all, they got the future, we don't know what he rapping about because he's ahead of everybody. <laughs> and they got, they got the, uh, what, the Fetty Wap, they got them all. They got little baby, big baby, my baby, your baby, little bunny, big bunny, my bunny, funny bunny. All, they got all of these rappers out there and they got the Waka Flocka Flame. So that, now I cuss. Okay. I cuss, I, I use waka flocka. Waka flocka ain't cussing, but it's, just say it to yourself, everybody. Waka, waka flocka. flocka. 
Walk. You at home, just at home, say, Waka Flocka. Waka Flocka. I, I was at church, Sunday, Bishop Blake walked out on the stage. I said, look at this Waka Flocka. He's going to be up there for 35 Waka Flocka minutes. So, Waka Flocka. And I want to thank each and every one of you Waka Flockers for coming to this show here tonight. So that's my new cuss word. And you the nicest Waka Flocka I know. <laughs> So that's my, that's my just, cuss word. Oh my gosh, George, I want to thank you for being here and thank congratulations on your new show, Clean Slate, yeah. with Laverne Cox. Y'all, yeah. you can see, run to see George at the Helium Comedy Club in Indianapolis on June, 21st, June 23rd and 24th and the Helium Comedy Club in Philly on June 30th and July 1st. And for all George's other dates, go to SherryShowTV.com. Mm -hmm.